This is James Hodder for IFL TV in association with Matthews Jim Marbella. We're in Dublin today. With me, I've got a man less familiar with the surroundings than myself, Tommy Langford. What's happening, Tom? Yeah, it's good, man. You all right, yeah? I'm all right, I'm all right. Um, first of all, how excited are you to be in Dublin fighting for your first title? I'm buzzing, to be fair. Like, it's a big opportunity for me fighting in Dublin. Uh, obviously, you know, the Irish fans, massive boxing fans, and, you know, if I can put on a good display Saturday night and can pick up a few more and they can, you know, hopefully come and watch me in the future. So it's, you know, big, big, big opportunity for me. What have you and Tom Chaney been working on going into this fight? Is there anything you hope to implement from during your camps? Just a continuation from the last fight, really. Um, obviously, I had a really good performance in the last fight, stopping Wayne Reed, and just kept developing that. Bit, little, worked on a little bit more head movement and things, but because I had a last minute change of opponent, went from fighting a tall orthodox German, uh, you know, stand up boxer, to now I'm fighting a short, uh, rugged Mexican. So the, the tactics are just to, you know, lower the punch a little bit and uh, break him up at range, and I'm sure I'll get him out of there mid, mid rounds. So, as you said, you're fighting Avalos for the WBA Intercontinental title. Fantastic belt to get this, isn't it, for your first title? Yeah, obviously, like, the W puts you in the WBO top 10, so that's what, it's one step closer to being, you know, up mixing with the best lads in the division, which is where I want to be. It's a good learning fight for me, you know, first foreign opponent I've, I've fought, um, obviously fighting in different country as well. So they're all things I can tick off the list that I've, I've managed, to, managed to do, and. You know, so and then obviously the belt itself, they look they look they look nice, so that, that's a bonus as well. <laughs> what are your aspirations for this year, Tom? I mean you're starting to really sort of stamp your foot down and, and develop yourself now as a top 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 talent. What what are your aspirations to achieve for this year? Obviously pick up this belt, like I said, that puts me in the in the in the rankings and then uh, just to continue developing the way I am really, gradually improve and you know, get uh, progressively more difficult opposition. Need a few tough hard people in front of me for the 10 possibly 12 rounders you know if more belts come available commonwealths and things like that then i'll jump on the chance to get them as well but you know not going to take any stupid steps any big jumps in class or anything but just keep learning steady i've got time on my side and uh you know so hope fingers crossed by this time next year i'll be looking at um uh you know very top of british or you know world world stage and that's really where i'm aiming at Frank Warren's delivering a few of these titles. Speaking to the Jason McCory, the matchmaker today, he rates you so highly, ever so highly. So it must be nice that the people around you know what you can do and are looking to deliver for you. Oh, it's brilliant. Uh, I've always said since signing, with, uh, since signing with Frank Warren, you know, my career's just taken another jump upwards and it's given me a lot of confidence in myself as well, having somebody, having, having a team behind you that backing you and they believe in you and everything like that. And, so, you know, knowing that, then you go into the fights with a lot of confidence and obviously the training that I do as well with Tom in the gym and all the hard work and preparation I put in, I've got nothing but confidence going into my fights and, and that's something that's massively built for me over the last, last six, 12 months is, is uh, my self-belief and my confidence and now, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm flying really and I just can't wait to step up and step up to the plate, take my first title and then many more will follow. How would you describe your boxing style? What kind of what kind of style of fighter are you, Tom? Just, uh, I'd say it's the box fighter. I mean, combination puncher. I like to let a lot of leather go and uh, land a lot of punches if I can. And um, so I'd say that's that's basically my style. I'm just high high tempo combination pun puncher. All right, well, listen, you're going to get a big chance to impress the Irish public tomorrow, plus the Box Nation viewers. Go out and grab your moment and thank you for coming to our TV, Tom. Thanks, James. Thanks, thanks, I feel.